Welcome back everyone, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics carrying on with my uh, latest project, the RC Robot project and uh, if you watched the last video you'll know that I was building some homemade 3D printed and machined uh, gearboxes using some of these uh, DC motors and the latest part of the project has been getting some uh, electronics hooked up so I've got a Arduino Mega and an L298 based motor driver board uh, it's a cheap and cheerful driver and uh, seems to be doing the job and you'll also notice from the last video that I've also got the second gearbox fabricated up ready to go so I've got my two decent sized uh, lead acid batteries providing 24 volts and I'll put a diagram up on the screen now of the circuit if uh, you're interested and uh, we'll test this out. So I've got the motors hooked up to the driver board and the signals uh, coming from the Arduino and a potentiometer um, to control the speed and I've got forward and reverse working at the moment just off the one potentiometer so um, I'm going to hook up the power and we'll see that in action. So the 24 volts is connected, I've got a 5 volt UBEC you can see that providing the 5 volts to the Arduino so everything is running off the batteries at the moment no external 5 volt supply from the USB or anything and if I turn the potentiometer you see I've got speed control of the motors so that's one direction if I turn it back the other way put it forward and reverse I've got Pretty good control of the speed. Potentiometer. So initially, I was using the uh, little joystick module that I, uh, that I had, and while this works, the resolution isn't brilliant for some reason. Um, so I've gone just for a standard potentiometer for now, and I might end up using two of these in my controller and uh, operating the robot as a type of skid steer or maybe. One for forward and uh, reverse, and one for turning. So we'll see what we uh, see what we do with that. So with the motor control working, the next stage is to test out the wireless control using the uh, HCO5 uh, Bluetooth module. In fact, I've got a pair and uh, an Arduino Nano set up on the breadboard here. And the idea is to uh, set these up in a master-slave configuration and this circuit here is going to form the basis of the uh, controller it's going to be pretty much this with possibly a, a pair of potentiometers connected and maybe even a screen and uh, the idea is, is to incorporate all this into some sort of um, handheld controller for driving the robot now I want to get all of this sorted out before I move on to making a, a base plate for the motor gearboxes and everything else to mount onto just to get the uh, the electronics working and make sure everything's uh, as it should be so again I'll put up the circuit diagram for the circuit in front of us and this is the basis of the controller I'm actually thinking of replacing the Mega on the robot with an Arduino Nano so I'd have a Nano in the controller and another Nano on the robot itself and I should have enough I.O. to do what I need at the moment and if I find I don't I can always go back to the Mega if need be but the uh, Nano does tend to be a little bit more breadboard friendly for prototyping and getting this all working. So I've only got one of these prototyping uh, breadboards at the moment so the next job is going to be to turn this circuit into something semi-permanent on, on some strip board and then I can use this breadboard to prototype the circuit over here, including the, the Bluetooth module. Okay, so there we go. I have uh, taken the circuit off of the prototype breadboard and fabricated up a strip board circuit. I've tried to make it as uh, compact as I can, as this is in the end going to go into the, uh, the remote control. Um, it needs to be uh, small enough. I've got the Arduino Nano, I've got the uh, Bluetooth HCO5 module hooked up. I've also uh, wired in 
the TFT screen which is going to go on the controller as well and I am using one of these joystick buttons for now uh, and we'll see how it works. It does does work just the resolution isn't uh, as good as a, a normal potentiometer but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I've also changed up the motor control circuit uh, still using the 0298 but using the Arduino Nano instead of the Mega and so far so good I've got plenty of IO uh, for now and it's uh, and it's working as it was before um, I've got the circuit diagram that I'll put on the screen for you now um, to have a look at and this is how this is uh, currently hooked up so the uh, next thing to do was to get the Bluetooth modules communicating that's the uh, HC05 module on the controller board uh, talking to the motor driver and I've done that I've configured it the slave module being the one on the motor control side and the master being on the controller over here and it's currently hooked up so if I um, Move the joystick. I've only got one direction working at the moment. I don't know if you can see that, but as I'm moving the joystick, the motors are turning as they should. As you can see they're a bit jumpy, I've only got one direction working at the moment and you have to go very gentle on the joystick to control the speed of the motors, but it is doable and probably when the motor's on the ground this, uh, this won't be so bad. So there we go, there'll be a couple more videos coming up. Uh, one of them is going to be putting this into some sort of enclosure or Cutting some uh, some material to make a, a handheld controller with two of these joysticks and the TFT screen in the middle there that can show the uh, outputs and information back from the robot. That's going to look pretty cool. So that'll be a video, and I'll be moving on to making a chassis for the wheels to attach to. Um, I've uh, gone out and bought a couple of these nice sturdy casters as well. For the rear of the robot and, uh, and that'll be coming up soon so as always thanks for watching hit subscribe like these videos and, uh, and I'll see you next time